Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to migrate your Active Directory domain controller to a server 2025. Now this works if you have 20 server 2016, 2019, or 2022. However, it does not work if your server is 2012, just because of the domain functional level. Basically, your domain functional level has to be 2016. If, you, if, you, if it is 2016, then you cannot have a server 2012. So what I have here is uh, a server 2019 standard, as you can see. And this is the Active Directory. And my domain functional level is still at 2012. I'm going to go ahead and raise it to 2016. And that's it. Now I also have another server, which is uh, what I'm planning to migrate to, which is at 2025, as you can see. And currently, the 2019 uh, is a domain controller. As you can see, it's called DC01. It's a global catalog. And the first thing we want to do is go to the 2025, add roles and features. Next, next. And I'm calling it DC-2025. And I'm basically going to add the Active Directory Domain Services. I'm going to say next, next. And I'm just going to say install. It's going to take a few minutes to install. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, as you can see now, uh, this completed successfully. No reboot required. And I, I did want to show you on the uh, 2019 server. I do have a couple of users here. And I do have a couple of users here. So those are supposed to basically sync once we complete the migration. They will replicate and appear. Also, the group policies would replicate. All right, now so we now come into the exclamation mark, and as you can see, it tells us to promote the server to a domain controller. I'm going to click on it, and I'm basically going to add a domain controller to an existing domain. I'm going to click Next. Okay, and as you can see, we got an error, and although we uh, raised our domain uh, functional level to 2016, but it's uh, given us that uh, we're having an, an error with the, with the forest functional level. So there's another one that I needed to upgrade also on the domain controller and what we do is we go to Active Directory uh, Domains and Trust. I'm going to right click on here and raise forest functional level and currently it's on 12 R2 so I'm going to raise it to 2016 and I'm going to go back to the server and say next. Okay and as you can see now it's working. So I, I'm going to enter a password, and this is a domain. Uh, domain. This is a domain controller in a global catalog. It's not going to be read only. And I'm going to say next, next, and just next. Going with the defaults. And I'm just going to say next, and it's going to just check, and it's going to say everything is ready. Go ahead and install. So I'm going to go ahead and install. And now it's going to install the, uh, it's going to upgrade and replicate all the group policies and all the users and everything. And I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's completed. Now, while we're waiting for this, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. All right, so it completed and it's going to reboot automatically. It's telling me, telling me you're about to be signed out. And it's going to reboot, and I'm going to pause and come back when it comes back. All right, so the server came back, as you can see. And now if I go to Active Directory Users and Computers, and if I go to the main controllers, as you can see, they're both the main controllers now. If I go to the users here, as you can see, they replicated. And same thing with the other domain controller, which is the old one. Also, group policies have uh, migrated. And uh, basically, that's how you migrate it. Now, if you don't want your uh, old server, you can go ahead and decommission it. But if you want, you can keep both because 2019 is still in service. Or 20, uh, if you have a 2016, you will need to decommission it because I think it's um, no longer supported or coming up soon. So that's uh, 
all you need to know about uh, promoting your uh, your new domain controller into 2025. Thank you very much for uh, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.